Hey guys, it's Nanania, and I am back with some more Orcs Must Die Nightmare Mode. This one is called The Library. The Library. But there's no books. I don't understand where they keep their, their knowledge. Is it just like inscribed on the walls? I don't see any inscriptions. Anyways, I played this level for like five hours to get it right. And you're probably wondering, wow, five hours? How bad do you suck? Well, I wasn't trying, I was actually trying to get away from this setup, not using a grinder, using something creative, innovative, and I couldn't do it. The only innovation I could really come up with is putting the barricades, instead of directly under the clockwork maze, you put them one back, and that way orcs and kobold runners and everything like that will still run towards the barricades and get caught up, and then they'll have to go around them. So the clockwork mace will get them. Otherwise, this is really standard. The only deviation would probably be the spring traps, which we are gonna upgrade eventually, near the end, because money is so tight on this level. It is really, really, really tight, especially if you're gonna do the setup. There is one entry point, which obviously is right in front of us, the second entry point is directly behind us, and we have to trap that up as well. There's no real good way that I found of funneling them all into one kill box, which really screws you on the money. Here you can see I'm laying down the trap, spring trap, to push them back towards the spawn point. I laid down a second spike trap directly above where the tar is. Now, I only use one tar trap in this level per grinder. Um, otherwise, it's spike traps. Here we get the ogre. We're going to kite him into all these traps since we can't really go head to head. We don't have a frosty amulet or anything like that. So, kite him. Just drag him through all this crap a few times. Jump over your barricades. He can't get you. You're untouchable. You're a golden god. There you go. No big deal. Alright, so now we're on wave four. More baddies are coming and you really have to trap it up. Gonna do a mirror of this one. Cobalt Runner's coming from the first entry point. Not too big of a deal, especially with how we're doing the barricades. Two of them do get through on this wave, but we get them. Just waiting for money for the grinder. Killing some orcs. There's the grinder. Watch your mini-map for these cobalt runners. Make sure that none of them get through. If you're trying to five skull. If you're not trying to five skull, hell, let one or two of them through. Spring trap. I did it the wrong way, so I sold it and re-put it down. Another arrow wall. More spike traps. Complete mirror. The only thing you can't mirror is the mace, so you have to watch that side a little bit more. Now, I am going to put a mace eventually above the gate, and I'm going to try and put spring traps to launch orcs up into that mace. It doesn't work out that well. It sounds really cool, but it doesn't work out that well. Alright, time to pick up your steel weaver on wave 5. And just watch me kill orcs, because there's not a lot to talk about at this point. All your traps are pretty much set up. You're going to lay down Archer soon. You're going to lay down the Burning Pitch upgrade. I guess you can't lay it down. You're just going to get it. You're going to skill up. But a lot of you guys replied to my art comment on the tower video, which I thought was very, very cool. Uh, a lot of people said they love the stylized art. A lot of people said Team Fortress 2 art style, which is very, very stylized. And I love it too. I don't like realistic shooters. I was a huge fan of Quake 3 when it came out, and even that was trying to be kind of realistic. It wasn't cartoony, but Team Fortress 2 has such a perfect mix of cartoon humor and actual good gameplay. That's why it's been so successful, I think. Did you know that they were going to make Team Fortress 2 realistic? And they're like, nah, let's scrap that. Let's just go really stylized. So, it was a great design decision in my opinion. 
Let's see. A lot of people said that they like realistic games too. The most realistic game I've played lately is Skyrim, obviously. Everybody's playing Skyrim right now. Amazing game. So amazing. I'm like level 42, I think, on my second character. Uh, I got to level 30, I'm like, ah, screw it, I'm gonna reroll. So now I'm level 42. I have gotten pretty far in the game, I think. I'm not sure. I got the dragon wrench out. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, so I'm just gonna say I got the dragon wrench out. Alright, so this is wave 7. Obviously, ogres are annoying. You've got the archers down, but you don't have the money for the physics trap upgrade, so you have to kite these guys. Really sucks. If you don't kite them, they're gonna kill your archers. Bad mojo. You do not want that to happen, because on nightmare mode, they don't pop back up. This isn't, you know, a kitty game anymore. This is real life nightmare mode. Real life, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm a terrible commentator. Uh, but let's get back to talking about Skyrim a little bit. I love that Skyrim has so many diverse locations. All of the towns look different, which is awesome. A lot of the texture work is different. Amazing. That's how things should be. Different architecture for different races, or different peoples, or even different geographies. If you're in the mountains, you're not going to have the same kind of buildings as you would have if you're on a open plain, you know, so that's really cool. That's what I love the most about Skyrim, and you know, it's just freaking awesome. Here we go, putting down some... Oh, I guess I'm not putting them the way I thought I was going to put them. Oh well. Whatever. Let's just kill some orcs. Now, the only reason I re-recorded this was because I thought I could do better. I did better by like 70,000 points. Not that great. Not that huge of an improvement. If you guys had seen my last setup though, I kind of did the same trap setup. I didn't use grinders. I didn't use a clockwork mace. What I used was about 20 archers right in the middle. Uh, spike traps, tar traps, and arrow walls. That was like my go-to when I first started actually playing on Nightmare was arrow walls, tons of archers, and tar traps. So it was ridiculous. There were so many archers. The screen was just filled with flaming arrows. But I didn't want to post that. I didn't want you guys to call me a noob for spamming archers because I know better now. Oh, there's the mace up top on the final wave. It's not going to do much, but, you know, whatever. There's an 8 combo, 7 combo. They start getting pretty high once you get to the last wave, which is good. Oh, it's over. Our time is up, guys. I'm so sad. I wanted to spend more time with you guys and talk to you more. Man, now what am I gonna do? 244,459. Let's look at the stats. 11 combat kills, that's not bad. 21 kill streak. 21 kill streak. It reminds me of 21 jump streak. I'm old. All right, so I got seventh in the world, a little bit behind my friend Fried Egg. There's the actual breakdown. Boozia is a beast. Doc Schmock, I see him posting on the robot forums. Where Shrew, always amazing. So, yeah, that's been level 15, or shit, level 16, the library. Stupid Nanania. Anyways, thanks guys for watching, subscribe, do all that crap, go to my channel, and have fun killing orcs. Bye.